Sabre and I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're at the airfield today to test a drone. Let's take a closer look and see what we're going to fly today. This is called the Unmanned Aerial Vehicle JY011W. The W usually means it's a Wi-Fi FPV drone. That's exactly what we have here and it comes in around $80. I'm hoping that for $80 it's pretty good. I'm doubtful that it's going to be because they have modeled this after a very popular drone on the market most of you should be able to recognize. On the back of the box you can see this very much resembles a DJI Inspire. Though it is not and it is not made by DJI, DJI is going to definitely be the uh, superior product here uh, hands down but they've modeled this after the Inspire uh, giving us the impression that it can transform in flight. We have a little camera down here. The back of the box just makes this look like an Inspire. When we look at the front of the box though, they've got legs on there added. And now it's not an Inspire anymore if you ask me. It's an ugly look-alike toy. But maybe it'll actually be a really good, well-performing product. I hope so, because again this is getting close to $100. We'll take a closer look inside the box and see what comes with it and then we'll fly it and test it for you guys. It's a busy day at the airfield today so we're just down here on the end making our video. Didn't want to overlap with people but anyway I did shave. Had to. We had a baby shower that we went to. It was actually a baby queue barbecue so guys could go to it too uh, with the family. It was a lot of fun but I had to shave and uh, another thing I wanted to let you guys know we've been telling people toward the end of our videos but I uh, want to make sure you guys catch this, so inviting you at the beginning here. Abby and I are going to be in Muncie, Indiana on August 26th. I know it's just a week and a half or so away now, but we're going to go to the AMA airfield. I'm not sure what field or uh, spot we'll be at yet, but some friends of ours will be there. And we wanted to invite you guys to come too. It's going to be Sunday from 12 to 4. So all of you are invited to come out, bring something, a hat if you want us to sign it. We may have hats and shirts for sale possibly there. And uh, we can sign your RC, take some pictures with you, and maybe even get a chance to fly with you a little bit. If you want to fly, make sure you remember to bring your AMA insurance to fly at the AMA field. So let's take a closer look at this drone. There you go guys, that's everything that comes in the box, <coughs> including the instruction manual. And uh, Let's take a closer look at the transmitter. It's pretty basic, which I like. Minimalistic look. Not a lot of confusing things here. We have two shoulder buttons and trims. Here's the little camera that does come with this. It has two plugs, one to power the camera. And I'm guessing because there are two plugs, we're gonna have a little servo in there that tilts the camera up and down. And so that's gonna power that. A little Wi-Fi antenna. And that'll just clip onto the bottom of, of the drone. It's a nice little look. Of course, they've completely copied the Inspire, obviously, and it really does look like those arms will transform. Abby, do you remember on our channel, uh, probably years ago now, we had a little white Inspire knockoff. A couple years ago. People still watch that, comment on like it, and an buy it. This is like an updated one, because well, didn't they change the color from white to black? Yes. Anyway, so Unfortunately, go. this one doesn't transform. There's no motors in here. These arms don't move like you think they should. It's just like that. It just looks like that. It really misleads you so there in the pictures. Transform. This one does not. But the mm -hmm. one that we did a it while did. ago, it does transform, even though it's just a toy. We'll have to card that one. Now this was a big downside to this drone. Abby and I have already found out when we charged it, I could not get this battery that's supposed to be removable out of here. No, it's with, stuck. I mean, I would have to take some needle nose pliers, pry this, pry that open right there, yeah. and then pull on the wires yeah, to get that out is like jammed or something that's stuck in there. It's a really bad design. They've got, they can wedge it in there fine, no problem, but then it's just a bad design to get the battery out. You'd have to pull on these wires hard and you do not need to do that. That's a bad design. It's a little JST plug with a little balance lead there. It's a two cell LiPo. You have a USB charge cable and that's how I charge this drone through the little balance lead, but I had to set the whole drone by the wall, plug that into my USB converter in the wall. We also have a little phone mount in here. It is the chip clip method, which is my favorite method. <clears throat> Call it chip clip because it looks a lot like a chip clip. Those always work really well. Very big thumbs up for that. Here's the landing gear, which is going to be necessary on this guy, unfortunately. 
wouldn't mm. be if it folded like we thought it was yeah. going to. And then four spare props. That's everything that comes in the box. It's actually a pretty simple little setup. A lot of people I think might ask us about these. That just feels like a little aluminum, like a straw, like a McDonald's straw, bigger, <laughs> but with a little, it's just a little, maybe aluminum. I don't think we're gonna like this one as much as the one we had before. I don't think so. Let's get in there. Yes. We should have auto takeoff. Click the right stick. Maybe the motors have to be spinning, so down and out to get the motors going. And click the right stick. Yep, auto takeoff. Okay, let's fly over here. I'm gonna get it a little closer to us. I just wanted to give those guys some space at the airfield. Okay, if you can imagine this drone without the legs, it would look pretty cool. It'd look like an Inspire. And then, I would really like the looks of it a lot. Mm -hmm. now the this legs kinda ruined it. Really did, yeah. Now this is an altitude hold drone, I should point that out. That means you don't have to worry so much about throttle management, which is nice for a beginner. And so far, it's flying really well. Uh, $80 though is a lot for a simple Wi-Fi FPV drone. As a matter of fact, we've seen a lot of good Wi-Fi FPV drones for about $40 or $50. So you're paying for... You're paying for the DJI not license. Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, now if you look at my screen here, Abby, I have a ton of jello going. Just a oh, yeah. ton. Wow. And they have, there's rubber grommets on that and is camera. The camera does it pitch? It does. Yeah, I'm flying up now so that we can test that. So I'm not going to go too high because this is a Wi-Fi FPV drone. But then we use the throttle trim and we're yeah. angling down. Cool. I mean, that's some of the most jello I've ever seen on a camera. That is pretty that bad is, for... That's name you know. brand jello, Abby. That's name brand jello. That's so much jello. That's that I mean, is, for today's oh, bad. world, that's too much jello. That's really bad. If this was four or five years ago, I would still, I would probably think that's awesome. That's still, no, nah, I don't know. I mean, the Wi-Fi feed is good. Oh, it's like auto landing. I had to really push a lot of throttle up to keep it from landing. Now it's struggling to fly in this amount of wind, so it's just a light breeze. It's getting there, but it's kind of slow. You see, that's full throttle ahead. The rates. Full forward. Yes. Click the left stick. Two beeps for higher rates. And it is going down, baby. That is a very wonky drone. <laughs> I didn't know if I'd have to recalibrate it or not. Um, I didn't, I just down and out to start the motors again. I'll just do a manual takeoff. So what happened? Why did that crash? Because Nate has basically never crashed a toy grade drone like that. I started giving it yaw and some other input and it just could not stay in the air. And it, it just, there we go. Look so it's again. struggling. Yeah. So I'll give it a little bit more y'all with pitch. It Let's, can't do it. can't do it. It, it cannot lift maneuvers. out of that. Yeah. And that's what happened. It yeah. just could not lift out of that. The barometer's trying to get that Is back. Is that the up highest there. rate? We have one more. I'll Three try that. quick beeps. And that's full forward. Well, I guarantee it. it's not. Look at that full forward. It's dropping out of the sky. Oh yeah. I give it a little bit of pitch and y'all, right and it just look at that. It jumps like a rabbit. <laughs> okay, after two crashes, Abby and I have a rule when we're driving RC trucks. When we flip it, the next person gets to drive it. Well, I've crashed this twice now in that short amount of time, so Abby gets to take over, flying it. Now I think you're in the highest rate, so uh, be prepared for it to crash. And rate one, it seemed to do okay. That's what I just put it in. Yeah. Now we can do flips too, so I think you you can that. try that. I'm gonna face it's the, away from us. It's the top right shoulder button. You can go a little bit higher because I just don't know about this. Yeah, it's probably not going to do well. Okay, it's like 20 feet off the ground. Yeah. Can pick a direction. Maybe you have to hold it. Uh oh, that was the emergency stop. You said hold it. I did say stop, <laughs> and I. I did say hold it and I forgot that's the emergency stop button. Yeah, isn't that weird? Emergency stop is your flip button. Um, that was my fault. Down and out to start the motors. There you go. Hey, it's durable. We can say that. Yeah, so he crashes on one video. You should just press record. that button and then pick a direction. You, think, you know how sometimes I don't do flips? Yeah, the, the camera's on. on. Uh-huh. This has got to be that. That's the case for this. Yeah. Why does sometimes it does two beats? That's weird. It's that's your like flip that's button. Rates. Well, do you that's, hear the different beats? Yeah, uh huh. That's the same button. It's doing the same thing now. It's just messed up. It's just a messed up drone, Abby. 
I'm scared to hit the other side. I don't want to do headless mode. Headless mode and return to home are the only other two features to test. Do a little bit more of the like camera up, camera down. Okay. I mean, obviously, guys, we're not going to tell you to buy this. There's no way. We ever. crashed a drone like that, like. Three this times. This drone shouldn't be crashed. See if you can us. see if you can just fly it in a higher rate. Just normal. Just fly it normal. You know, and repeat what I did. So I'm not the only person that did it. You want me to crash? I mean, yeah, yeah. That's, it takes that's a what long we, time it for does. the camera to go up and down. Uh oh, you're going down. You're going down. Give us some throttle. Give us some throttle. Pull forward. No, that's, that's the battery. That's the battery. That was an awesome auto wow. land. Wow. <laughs> I, I knew this would be hard for me to recommend to you. It would have to be pretty impressive for me to be able to say that. But I didn't know it would be this bad. I mean, that's blatantly obvious that you should not buy this for any reason. If you like this style drone, at the end of this video, down in the comment section and in the cards, we'll have the white knockoff. The original Inspire knockoff. <laughs> the original. Yeah. Um, the original I don't knockoff. even know if they sell it anymore, but it was way better than this. The arms went up and ago. down. It was way better. It flew really well. It had altitude hold. It transformed mid -flight. Pretty sure the camera was better. Yeah. Uh, the jello on this was just unbearable, unless you like jello. I do like jello, it sounds good. Uh, but it does look cool. If you didn't have these stupid landing gear on here, it'd look an awful lot like an Inspire, which would be kind of the main reason to buy this. Otherwise, it is a very easy pass. Do you appreciate us testing nearly $100 drones and telling you when not to buy them? I don't know if there's anyone else out there that has said to buy this, if they have. Maybe they just had a really, really better experience than us. I don't, <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Pass, save your money. If you had your eye on this and you saved $80, maybe swing over by our Patreon page just to say thanks. Give us $5, we'll give you some stickers and you'll be entered to win free stuff that is good. Did you know that we give away stuff on our Patreon page? And it's never stuff like this. It's always good stuff many times things that were on our channel. So if you're new to that idea and you didn't know we did that, or maybe you just didn't know we gave things away or that you could get stickers, then swing by our Patreon page. We'll have a link in the description box below. Right underneath this drone link, we'll have the Patreon page. If you can support us, that's great. If not, it would be so cool to see you guys out at the airfield, the AMA airfield in Muncie, Indiana on Sunday, the 26th from noon to four. I can't wait to see you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.